Good day, everyone. Welcome back to Banish with myself, Zat. We are still in our town of Runnel, expanding until we actually get something closer to a city than just a little village we have here. Or two little villages. Basically, it's one village. They're not very far from each other. Um, I noticed there is some missing tools just a second ago, but it's gone away. Uh, our tool making guy, the blacksmith, is over here. Uh, we also have zero tools in stock. There we go, popped up again. Um, are we missing anything? I mean, he has iron, he has logs. That is what he needs to make the tools. Can we find out what he's doing? Uh, I think if I click, there we go. Walking around, he's idling. Why is he idling? You should be busy building tools. Hmm. Hmm, now he's working. Okay, well, we'll let that sit a little bit. I mean, he has the resource. It should go up eventually. As long as he doesn't run out of tools, that's one of the most annoying things to happen. And unfortunately, usually it is the blacksmith that runs out of tools first. If that gets any worse, maybe I'll drop another blacksmith, but I've never had to do that before. Usually one can keep up quite well. So, what else do we need to do in this town? I haven't really been here for a little while. Uh, I think we are fairly good on food. We have a population of 31, but we have no students. Right, we never built a school. That's fine. Because we don't want a school for a little while long. We have eight children, which is okay. We were trying to expand our population when we last left off. I think it looks like that's going along fine. If that starts getting close to five children again, I'm going to start um, placing some more houses. As long as we have the food. I'm trying to collect seeds, I remember. Uh, which I can't check what I have because I don't have City Hall. I don't remember if I got seeds now. Jeez. Maybe City Hall will be something good to build. We built our chapel. I think that just finished up the last episode or so. Uh, but it does not have a chaplain. Or a... What's it called? Cleric. It's a cleric. Uh, though we can't really spare the extra labor right now. Oh, wait. We have a bunch of builders. We'll drop a cleric for now. That'll keep people happier. If we ever need um, some extra labor, we know, we know where to pull it from. You have no tools. Just the one guy. What is he? What's he doing with no tools? He is a forester, punching down trees with his bare hands, just like Steve from Minecraft. A nice little well there. Okay. Um, trying to think what we can do. We don't have a huge reserve of iron or stone. And I don't really want to start mining it yet. What we could do is actually build another trading post that'll bring in the traders more often. And then I can get that uh, reserve of stone and iron up. I think that's a good idea. Okay, how much does a trading post cost? It costs uh, 82 wood, 80 stone, 40 iron. We don't have enough stone right now. Uh, so we have to go collect some of that. I remember I was doing a bunch of that last time. I don't know if this is still designated. Stone. This stuff. Collect. Yes. Do that. That's good. There's a bunch over here too. It's all over the place. Grab all the stone. I think we had a little path going up this way. That's probably good enough for right now. Um, we have enough iron, right? Not home. I was going to push the wrong buttons here. 40 iron, we have 53, and 82 logs, we have 227, which is good enough. I guess I'll pile up here. No, this is, um, it's firewood. Where's all our logs piled up? Interesting. There's a bunch piled up over here. Actually, I'm curious, how much is in a stack? Can you even see? No, not collect stone. Whoops, that is the wrong button. 43, so I'm guessing there's about 20 in a pile. It's hard to tell because I'm wondering if there's 20 a pile, then there would be like an extra three sitting around, or does it just not show that? Hmm. And uh, we are playing on quick speed. Let's speed it up a little bit for now just to get some of that stone coming in. Make sure we have our labors. All of the builders are going to be extra labors, anyways. And uh, we might as well designate where we're going to be building our trading post so people can start bringing stuff in. Uh, oh, I have this backwards. There we go. Do I want to put it here? Or slide it over a bit? Is there a point to leaving a gap like that? 
I mean, I'm gonna need a bridge at some point. Double bridges look really bad. Triple bridges look good, but I don't have room for a triple bridge, so maybe I'll just do this and leave room for a potential bridge in the future. And then we can always have a bridge over here, which wouldn't look great with double bridges around, but you know, gotta do what we need to do. So, do that for now. Well, I guess we'll get a little bit of stone from there. Did I never notice that stone before? Was that always sitting there? Whatever, it'll get cleared up now. And our laborers should hopefully start um, clearing that out and bringing materials over. They're probably gonna focus on collecting first. I just gotta make sure no one starts freezing to death, but I don't think it's too far away. It's only negative 10 out to live. Again, I'm playing on Celsius. Negative 10 is pretty cold. Not like deadly cold. Well, I guess anything in like below freezing is potentially deadly cold if you're out long enough, but we have clothing. I think. Again, I should probably build City Hall eventually to see that. Um, Lane the Gather has died of old age. And someone has replaced him. Let's check our food. We have uh, builders, no farmers, obviously, no herdsmen. Four gatherers. We only have the one gatherer's hut? I thought we had more. Hmm. Might want to build another one. It's really good at collecting food. Uh, fishermen, we have zero of eight. We might want to replenish some of our fisheries here. Not fisheries, but fishermen's hut. They're not doing, like, canning there. Or maybe they are. That'd be kind of cool if you could build a cannery and save your food longer, even though it doesn't expire. Um, hunters we have nine of, which is because we need the pelts to make clothing. Woodcutters, foresters. Okay, so instead of building another gatherer, I should probably send some people back to fishing. Because I want to keep pumping this food up. Get a nice buffer for our population. We've set our limit to 12,000. I'll leave it for now. And spring has come already. Sick. That stone's been cleared up. We have 59 stone. This is getting cleared. Uh, nothing's been placed in it yet, but we've got some nice stacks here. Man, sometimes this game feels really slow. Even at 10 times speed. Which I often warn is kind of dangerous to run at because something drops. It's hard to recoup if um, you miss something important, like everyone not having tools or something. And it happens quickly at 10 times. It's funny, it's a slow game to progress, but it's a quick game to screw up. So it's a fine balance of just kind of carefully watching. It reminds me of like Train Simulator, where it's like you, you can't look away because something will happen. So you just have to constantly just kind of watch the tracks, make sure everything's working okay. Like George Jetson. He only has to push the button like twice a day, but if he walked away from his desk, he wouldn't be able to push that button, and the whole factory would explode or something. Um, oh, a trader. Pause the game. What do you have? You have sheep? Sheep would be good, because then we could make nicer clothes, even though freezing isn't really a problem right now, but we could collect farther away from town. Um... It also means some more foodstuffs and just some more cool things to put in your town. So, need at least two sheep, assuming one's male and female, which cost 12,000, 1,200, sorry. Um, this would be 400. This would be an amount. And these sell well. Let's uh, bring that down a bit. Oop. Oh, that does some big chunks. Okay, so I'm gonna just use a calculator for this. If I need to get rid of 265 divided by 4 is 66 less. 66, that seems too much. Additional 15. Oh, I could just do that way, yeah. Um, 5? Yes, that's actually no, sorry. 4. There we go. Good enough trade for two sheep. Oh, it's just a little baby sheep. It's no bigger than the size of my hand. Can we order anything from you? Chickens, cattle, sheep? Um, well, obviously not gonna need more sheep, so let's order some chickens for next time. Just the once. They produce food nice and quick. 
because they can start producing eggs even before they start um, hitting their uh, butcher point. So I have to start thinking about where we want our um, livestock. I mean, most of this area is kind of used up for tree things. It's a hunting cabin. We could just sort of like place them in town for now and move them later. I think I'm liking that idea. Stop people from walking all over the place. I mean, it's gonna be a while before we actually start expanding our town into this area. So let's build a temporary little sheep's I was going to call it a sheep's den, but it's not what it is. I want food, and I want a pastor, a sheep pastor. Sheep pastor doesn't sound right either. I mean, a pastor, I always think of like a place for cows or horses. Um, I don't know what the most efficient size for pastures are, but I can build a 12 by 12, so I'm going to build a 12 by 12, which didn't work. Or did that work? Oh, it did work. That was 12 by 13. Ah, oh, keep pushing the wrong button. I'm used to SimCity where you hit escape to back out of something. In this, you're just gonna need to right click. Okay, that'll get built. Doesn't take a lot of logs. This is getting built. We could probably use some more builders. I don't really want to pull anything else. I don't know if this is gonna be big enough to actually to produce enough wool. Now, the usually wool is not the thing you need for a tailor. Usually you need more leather than anything. It's not much longer until this is all done. I want those traders to come so I can buy my materials I need to make my town and sell them the Renewable goods, like logs. Log, log, wonderful log. It rolls downstairs and over your neighbor's dog. That's Ren and Stimpy, for those not in the know. Uh, we're actually on our log limit. Oh, that can't be right. Why is it showing limit? There's only... Oh, far, sorry, that's firewood limit. Let's, um, we can bump that up. I mean, we have a lot of extra logs, too. So that can start going down quickly in the winters too when your population starts rising. We have six childrens right now so I think I want to start expanding more houses. Um, let's start putting some over here. Doo -doo -doo. Actually I might want to save this spot for something more important. What do we have in terms of important things to place down? Um... Do I have a herbalist in town yet? I don't. Blacksmith, another one should go probably over here. Taylor we have here. Tavern would be nice to have nearby once it's done. I mean, once once we actually have something to turn into um, alcohol. Someone pointed out that you can do it with berries, which um, would work pretty well. But it's not really something important right now. I'd rather have the food. So let me actually start thinking about where this stuff can go. Herbalist would fit nicely here. Uh, yeah. That'd be okay. This would fit this way. If I want to leave a bit of a gap. I don't know if I want to have a path there. Uh, I won't need that. This will be later on. <laughs> Put the bar right next to the church. I'll go with the herbalist for now. I should actually put this here now, because right now everyone who lives in this area is going to be wandering all the way over here to get treated. So it would help efficiency quite a bit if they could just get treated right here in town. So let's plop that. Uh, and then I'll immediately pause it because I still want them. Oh, this is done. And that's done. Okay. Let's load up our sheep. Nine sheep maximum. Uh, we're going to need a sheeper. <laughs> yeah, someone to work the fields. Uh, which is okay because we have five laborers. Which also means we can get this going quickly. And uh, two builders is probably enough to build our house as well. Rotate. Um, how do I want to do this? Oh, you know what? 
What? Oh no! <laughs> that was too quick. Um, hopefully there was an auto save recently. Oh. Yeah, I hit the escape button just trying to get out of command, and then I hit quit because it just happened to be the thing I wanted to click on. Okay, everything's still here. Okay. Pause that. I should pause the game. Slow down a little. Cancel this building. That's cancel removal. I want to uh, cancel structure because I probably want this road to be doubled up. In fact, I probably wanted this road to be doubled up too, but I did not do that. But uh, having this one doubled up would probably be a good idea at least. One of them. So, I mean, actually, it doesn't really matter. It's more for luck than anything. But in any case, I want to have a double road somewhere. Which means our herbalist won't fit there. We'll have to find a new spot for it. But houses will make more sense here. Um, in that case, let's build. Let's unpause the game. We get all ours up? Yeah, okay. It looks like it kind of auto-saved as we quit, which is a good feature for a game to have. Um, so I want to build a herbalist. Sorry, I was getting distracted. I'm just checking the time here. Forgotten how long I've been recording. In any case, I want to finish building my herbalist. Herbalist is in here, right there. Uh, I'll build it next to the stockpile, which will probably get moved eventually. But whatever fits there will fit there. So I'm just going to plop it. Actually, let's put it uh, here on this corner. And then our children, children's, our kids have finally dropped down to three. Uh, again, I might want to save this spot for something like a blacksmith. Yeah, so I'm going to drop this here. Pause it because we really don't need it right now. And then I'm going to plop a house back here. And then we can put a path going next to the church, kind of like we have on this side. I think that should make sense. This stockpile is actually almost empty. I might remove it now. Put it somewhere more useful, like here. I don't think I'll be building much there. So let's do it the other way around. Build a stockpile here. And then we'll go building removal. Get rid of this one, which just has a little bit of firewood in it, which I'm sure the vendor can take. I don't even have any vendors. Let's get a vendor. That's a really silly idea. I don't know how that happened. Uh, a bunch of people dying. Fortunately, I have some labors to replace them. Could be an issue later on if my children count keeps dropping. Herbalist is done. Um, we probably want someone working here, even though I really don't need herbs. Herbs? I wonder if people will go here to get treated even if there's no one working here. Because I would love if that was the case. I mean, it doesn't really make sense, because I assume the herbalist, him or herself, actually does the treating. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, looks like it works without anyone there. Although... Oh. I think our herbalist actually is actually working in this one. So that says one of two. It says one here. If we go look at this one... Says zero. Okay, that's what's going on. Okay, so what if what if I do this? I turn this down to. I can't actually turn it off. Sigh. I mean, if I turn work off, then obviously it's probably not going to work at all. Oh, it says disable production. I hope people still go in there. Okay, so I can just put the herbalist building, and people still go here to get treated. I'm gonna just watch this for a second longer. Does anyone else come in to get treated? The exciting world of watching if things will work. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna watch it out of the corner of my eye. This house is uh, done and already has a berth in it. So that, that's good. And back up to six. Uh, let's build another one. 
right next to it. I will leave a gap. We're going to go for something that looks nicer instead of efficient, right? And then we can start spreading them out a bit more back here. And we're already starting to cut into our uh, forestry area here. Can we have a merchant? Pause the game. I guess uh, since this is done, we should see more merchants more often. What do you have for us today, Mr. Merchant? Walnut seeds, which I would very much like, except that I have nothing in here. Everything is over in my other trading post. How can we do this? Um, so we have a trader in each post. Okay, well, let's just um, move everything over. 250. 50. Although I actually only have 15, so let's just forget the tools at all. Uh, firewood. We have a ton of firewood, so let's just say like 200. And then we'll turn these off. And hopefully it kind of just gets moved over neatly. Oh, wow. We are really running low on tools. I guess that they are all going back into... Um, we traded a bunch of them they're getting filled back up in the trading post so we have 15 here we need 11 so we'll just dump them back into the population and uh hopefully this gets done before our trader leaves and then once we do a trade i'll spread everything out evenly that's the only annoying thing about having multiple trading posts like this is that you kind of have to manage them separately you can't just have like a big trading pile i mean it makes sense you can't really trade the stuff over here that's or a boat over there, but at the same time, the boat should. <laughs> you could just have to say, "Hey, the, all the stuff's over there. Just go to the next dock." But nope. Once he's tied up, he's stuck there. Uh, I'm gonna turn one of my builders off to get back to general labor pool. I should probably be watching this. We got 50 hide coats in here already, which is not gonna be enough to do our trade. We have four. F oh no, we have. Oh, we have 200 firewood. Ah, we got another trader. Jeez. My wishes come true too quickly. 750. 15. That's not enough. I asked for what? 300 firewood? Oh, I asked for 200. Okay, well, let's just. Five, 500 firewood. I should probably also see what is going on over here. What do you have? Walnut seeds. <laughs> my choice. Oh my. Oh, no, sorry. That's wheat seeds. Uh, I kind of rather have wheat seeds because that gives me the option to turn it into beer and also it's a yearly crop versus trees which I have to spend some time growing so uh, drop everything here send it back over here too slow with your trading there if you had lower prices, I'd buy it from you. This is a, it's a quick market. So I want um, my 50 hide coats back. And uh, I have 500 firewood. <laughs> I'm sure the traders love this. Hey, bring everything over here. Nope, bring it all back over here. And of course, the traders won't work in each other's trading post, so he's bringing it all to the market. And the other guy's going to have to bring it from the market into the trading post. Okay, 125 firewood and no hide coats. Um, what can I order from you? Uh, let's order potatoes. That sounds hearty. Just the once. Just potatoes. Nothing else. And um, go away. Bring me potatoes. Fetch my potatoes. So, th was that guy a seed merchant? And this guy a seed merchant? I didn't even notice if they had different names. I assume they would have to. Okay, we got 209 firewood. No hide coats. Uh, let's have to ignore that for a little bit. I have not been paying attention to if anyone's getting treated at the herbalist while it's off. And I saw that one person before, but I don't know if that was kind of a fluke. Hmm... I could just leave this open, can't I? 337, 346. How many do we need at, like, what's, what's 50, uh, 2,500 divided by, oh, that's not even the right thing. Try to open my calculator. 2,500 
that for is 625. So we actually only need 625 of firewood to afford this. Which, uh, which is actually not even as much as I have. Where did all those hide coats go? Oh, and he's gone. Excellent. Too impatient. <laughs> 440. Oh, okay, well... <clears throat> Let's, um... Oof, I don't even know what to do now. We need more firewood, is what we need. I should build some more choppers. Because we have a good chunk of wood. Actually, not even. Yeah, let's start building a bit of a firewood economy. That's a thing to do. Um, let's do it over here. We've already got a good area of trees here. Let's get a, our eighth wood chopper, not wood chopper, forester on there. I'll build another wood chopper. Um, unfortunately, building it here is actually going to take away from the trees a little bit, but it might still be the most efficient thing to do. We've got the path in the way here, though. Let's remove this path. Wait a second for that to happen. And then I want production. Wood cutter, not even chopper, wood cutter. It cuts the wood. I guess he uses a saw instead of an ax, even though this is an image of an ax. And I'll also make this face the stockpile right there. And then we'll throw down some, uh, ooh. People can walk through paths diagonally, so they can actually fit through here. It's kind of a little weird, though. But whatever. And I don't know where that path went over here, so I'll just draw roads all around it. And, um... I don't know if, uh... Putting a second... Forestry... Forestry... Lodge next to an existing one is inefficient or not but uh i'm thinking i'm gonna do it i'll put it a little further out over here again we got some more path in our way so let's get rid of this path i'm a little scared of all these paths i've been drawing out because i kept saying that oh i can just delete them anytime but apparently there's a bit of a glitch where sometimes you can't and the paths are just stuck there so far i haven't bumped into it so, uh, I think I'll just keep going the way I'm going. And if we end up with a little glitch pass somewhere, we can probably work around it. This goes quickly, because we have a lot of extra labor. It's interesting that you need builders to build the dirt roads, but laborers can remove it. But, I mean, how do you remove a dirt road? <laughs> it's just dirt on the ground instead of like grass. It's like they have to lay grass. It's kind of backwards. Uh, anyways, I was gonna build a forestry lodge, or forester's lodge. I'll just put it right there. And while those are being built, I think we will finish up this episode for now. So thank you for watching, guys. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not already. You can catch more episodes of Banished and SimCity and, uh, what am I playing right now? Theme Hospital. So, um, I'll catch you all next time. Take care.